Back in the uh, 1960s, Long Island was a hotbed of technology development, engineering, manufacturing. We don't have a mechanism to work with you at the pace of relevance in this century. At least we, we haven't. And so this week, uh, we're doing what we're calling Pitch Day. It's our first here in New York, where we're going to show that we can put small businesses on contract in a single day with a credit card, right? I want to create a finished product in my district or on Long Island that people can identify as being part of the future. And my idea is that we build a rocket on Long Island. So we've got to become a partner. We got to get off the old school way of working with, with commercial companies. We have to have an open door for anyone that has a good idea and that has a willingness to work with us in any way that they see fit. And a way to work with them at a speed that shows we care about the needs of their business, when that means being able to work quickly. But also, other major contractors subcontract with hundreds of companies on Long Island. The problem is, is that everybody thinks, oh, that's yesterday. That's yesterday's businesses. They don't realize that we have this humongous cluster of this technology and of these skills all located on Long Island because of this history. So I just want to remind you that New York Institute of Technology is in your backyard. We take students who come out of high schools in the region, give them degrees in engineering, give them degrees in technology, and 80% of them stay in the region. If you got into science, there probably was a moment, and for me it was reading A Brief History of Time for mm -hmm. the first time in middle school. It just blew my mind about you know, how space and, and time were combined and gravity's influence on it. Just huge ideas. That, that were powerful but beautiful too.